Hey guys, welcome back. This is Andrew from Andrew's Auto Freaks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a trunk spring uh, whereby it allows your trunk to open fully automatically by once you unhook the latch, it opens. Some cars, it just opens a bit for you to go in and open it with your hands. This allows you to make it open automatically fully um, just by installing two springs. Why two springs? Some cars, one should be enough. Some cars, the trunk nowadays are pretty heavy, you need two. So I'm going to be showing you how to install this and to actually make it look from this and make it do this instead. So without waiting any further, let me show you now how to install the trunk spring. Let's go. So as I said just now, there's actually two springs and there's actually a tool on the inside, it's a small metal rod. This one is to help you to adjust the length on how long or short you want because there's a nut here. I'll be showing you how to install it. So I just thought I'd just show you what the box looks like and what the tool does. So let's get to it. Firstly, you would need to find out the anchor point, which I have right here. My anchor point is right here and where the boot latch will be opening up and down. So for me, I discovered that this position right here would be an ideal place. So that's where I'm going to put the ring. Most of the boots nowadays would be like this. Uh, hatchback cars, unfortunately, I don't think so you can use this because it comes with hydraulics, but mine doesn't. And so mine would be right here. And I'm going to be anchoring it here. So what I'm going to do is this is how it works. So once you latch the thing inside, it will be here. I hope you can see that. And your anchor is here. So as you can see now, you still have a long way to go. So what you need to do is basically twist this thing until it opens up. And you just keep turning it and turning it. So you see a nut here. The nut will basically mean um, it's like a stopper. So once you have gone to your desired length on how far you think you need to go you bring this over to lock it in so this is the nut to lock it in so once I think roughly would be like I said my anchor point is this right here and I'm gonna be latching it here so I'm gonna try and see if you can reach oh perfect so once you have reached this all right there's a certain tool that comes in the box it's a small rod here if you notice there's a hole right here is for you to put it through the rod and turn it so i prefer doing it by hand because if i see see me twisting it the right way I'm twisting it the wrong way so i gotta twist it to basically tighten it until you feel it's a bit solid, right? This should be fine. So once you have reached this level, the nut is, you have to bring down the nut to lock the whole thing in place. Right? I'm doing everything by hand, so you don't really need any much tools except this. Now this is the rod you actually put into this hole to tighten everything. So I'm just gonna show you an example of tightening the whole thing using the rod so once you feel it's solid so basically that's it all right there so you're done so i'm going to do the same thing on the other side because my boot requires me to do two because one will not bring up the whole thing by itself all right so i'm going to do the other side and i'll come back in a while There you go guys, the other side is now done and now it's time to test it out and it depends on how strong you want the spring to be, you can adjust the latch like how I showed you with this um, rod right here which is at the end. So as much as you want, you can open your trunk, close it and see how it goes. If it doesn't open, you can tighten it to make it much more tighter because when you close it, it should 
expand. Alright, I'm going to show you on the outside and see how it turned out. And now to test but it works. My car comes with a remote control trunk opener so I'm going to give it a shot to see whether it works. So here we go. Hey, yay! It opened up fully and it's working perfectly. Well there you go guys, it was that simple to actually install these trunk springs. Very straightforward, all you have to do is just screw it in, extend it, adjust it and you're done. So I have two which actually works really really well. It's going to save a whole lot more time if I'm carrying a lot of bags and I can't be opening my boots with my elbow and stuff like that. You know this really really will help me and it's also going to be helpful for those who access their trunk all the time you know like they keep opening closing opening closing it this will be a very useful tool that you guys can have all you have to do is find an anchor point make sure the ring is attached to the bracket of your trunk and you're good to go that's it, it was that simple hope you guys enjoyed the video remember hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video do tell me why in the comment section below if you have any questions at all on how to install this um, as I as I'm an amateur as well so if you have any questions do drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can remember subscribe like and if you want to share this video go ahead and share this video all right till the next time guys never look back and always look forward